Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given system of equations a cube plus a square b equals to 25 and b cube plus a b square equals to 9. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, very first equation and we can see the left hand side has a square is in common so I can factor out a square and in parentheses we got a plus b equals to 25 and likewise for this uh, second equation we can see that b square is in common on the left hand side I can factor it out and we have a plus b inside the parentheses equals to 9. Let me go ahead and call this equation number 1 and this equation number 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and divide this equation 2 by equation 1. Let's go ahead and write down equation 2 first. b square times a plus b divided by a square times a plus b equals to on the right hand side 9 divided by 25 and now we can see that this b square is a positive and a square is positive as well and on the right hand side this fraction is positive as well so therefore we can conclude that a plus b is also greater than 0 that means positive and now we can see that this a plus b and a plus b is gone so on the left hand side b square over a square could be written as b divided by a whole square equal to on the right hand side I can write this 9 as 3 square divided by 25 as 5 square so the right hand side could be written as 3 fifth whole square let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides and we can see this square and square root undo each other so we got b divided by a equals to positive or negative this is going to become 3 fifth so that means b over a could be written as first we're going to take up this positive value so this is going to be a three fifth and the other value b divided by a equals to negative three fifth now we are going to investigate these two cases case one when b divided by a equals to three fifth and case two when b divided by a equals to negative three fifth and here's our case one when b divided by a is three fifth let's go ahead and isolate b by multiplying a on both sides and we can see that a and a is gone so b value turns out to be 3a divided by 5 and now let's go ahead and replace this b value in this equation 2 and here's our equation 2 let's go ahead and replace b by 3a divided by 5 so let's go ahead and replace 3a divided by 5 whole square times a plus 3a divided by 5 equals to 9 now let's focus on this uh, a plus 3a divided by 5 and here I have copied it down and here a could be written as 5a divided by 5 to make sure that we have the same common denominator so therefore when we add these two fractions it been simplified as 8a divided by 5 so our this equation on the left hand side 3a divided by 5 square is going to become 9a square divided by 25 times I'm going to replace this inside the parentheses by this 8a divided by 5 equals to 9 now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 over 9 and 1 over 9 on both sides and we can see that this 9 and 1 over 9 is gone this 9 and 1 over 9 is gone as well so therefore we are ended up with 8a power 3 divided by 
125 equals to 1 and here I have copied down this fraction over here let's go ahead and uh, isolate this a cube by multiplying by 125 divided by 8 on this side and 125 divided by 8 on this side as well and here we can see that 8 and 8 is gone 125 125 is gone so a cube turns out to be 125 divided by 8 and now this fraction on the right hand side could be written as 5 divided by 2 whole cube now let's go ahead and cube root on both sides to undo this cube I'm going to take cube root on both sides so this cube and cube root is gone so we ended up with a equal to this one simply 5 divided by and now we are going to substitute this a equals to 5 over 2 value in this uh, equation so let's go ahead and replace uh, this a value so b equals to 3 fifth time a value is 5 divided by 2 and now we can see this 5 and 5 is gone so therefore b value turns out to be simply 3 divided by 2 and thus here's our solution for our case 1 and now we are going to consider case 2 when b divided by a is negative 3 fifth let's go ahead and isolate b by multiplying a on both sides this a and a is gone so b turns out to be negative 3 a divided by 5 and now let's go ahead and substitute this b value in uh, this uh, equation 1 now and here's our equation 1 let's go ahead and substitute the value so I'm going to write down a square times a and b value I'm going to replace this thing by negative 3 a divided by 5 equals to 20 5 and now let's focus on this part inside this parenthesis and here I have copied it down and this could be simplified as 2a divided by 5 therefore I can write this equation as a square times 2a divided by 5 equals to 20 5 and now the left hand side could be written as 2 times a square times a is a power 3 divided by 5 let's go ahead and isolate this a cube by multiplying by its reciprocal 5 divided by 2 on this side and 5 divided by 2 on this side as well now we can see that this is gone with this one this 2 is gone with this 2 so therefore on the left hand side we are ended up with a power 3 equals to 25 times 5 over 2 is same as 125 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and take a cube root on both sides on this one as well. So our a value turns out to be over here this cube and cube root is gone so we got 5 divided by the cube root of 2. Now let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing by the cube root of 4 as you can see over here now let's focus on this uh, denominator I have just copied down over here and I have simplified it turns out to be 2 so therefore our a value turns out to be 5 times the cube root of 4 divided by 2 and here's our next step let's put this a value in this uh, equation let's go ahead and substitute that value so b equal to negative 3 fifth time our a is 5 times the cube root of 4 divided by 2 now we can see this 5 and 5 is gone so therefore our b value turns out to be simply negative 3 times the cube root of 4 divided by 
2 and thus here is our solution for case 2 and thus here are our solutions thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye